How y'all doing today? <laughs> yeah. My name is Ron. I'm the host of the show. And it is my goal to help you learn how to meditate. And a really good way is to read something thought provoking. And yesterday we had a very thought provoking Bible reading. But I did a fairly poor job of presenting it yesterday. So I'm going to take another shot at it. Because <laughs> it's really too important to uh, not give it a proper spot. The reading is from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 1 to 12. And for pretext, I'm just going to read the last verse of chapter 2. Once you were like sheep who wandered away, but now you have turned to your shepherd, the guardian of your souls. Okay? In the same way, you wives must accept the authority of your husbands. Then... Even if some refuse to obey the good news, your godly lives will speak to them without any words. They will be won over by observing your pure and reverend lives. That little sec that first section, that super important. It sounds at first like being under slavery. Can you imagine just a wife living a godly life can turn her ungodly husband to the Lord? That is powerful. I'll we'll continue. Don't be concerned about the outward beauty of fancy hairstyles, expensive jewelry, or beautiful clothes. You should clothe yourselves instead with the beauty that comes from within the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. This is how the holy women of old made themselves beautiful. They trusted God and accepted the authority of their husbands. For instance, Sarah obeyed her husband Abraham and called him her master. You are her daughters, when you do what is right without fear of what your husbands might do. Okay. Now, to the husbands. In the same way, you husbands must give honor to your wives. Treat your wife with understanding as you live together. She may be weaker than you are, but she is your equal partner in God's gifts of a new life. Treat her as you should, so your prayers will not be hindered. What, what godly man wouldn't want a, a good connection in his prayer life to God? Mm. A simple way to get it is to treat your wife properly with honor and understanding because she is an equal partner. That's not so difficult. And then if we continue on reading, this is to all Christians. Finally, all of you should be of one mind, sympathize with each other, love each other as brothers and sisters, be tender-hearted, and keep a humble attitude. Don't repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate with insults when people insult you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do. And he will bless you for it. <laughs> I 
Do you like blessings? It's not difficult. Well, okay, it might be difficult, but it's doable. And then the, the last of it is, for the scriptures say, if you want to enjoy life and have many happy days, keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. And his ears are open to their prayers. But the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. I just gave you a blueprint in that short reading. <laughs> How to have a happy life. Now, is it easy? Of course not. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But this is definitely something to meditate on. And let me add this one more thing. It's really hard to put into words the synergy that my wife and I have after 48 years. But I wouldn't trade one of the difficult times we went through to miss what we have right now. Yeah. And I really pray that you uh, work at your marriage long enough to have what we have. So there is something worthwhile meditating on. And the word of the day is synergy. You all have a great day. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.